एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज अशोक टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ वी कैन मॉडिफाई बेस कॉम्पोनेंट्स डिजाइन इन एल डब्ल्यू सी बिकॉज नाउ डेज इन सेल्स फोर्स फॉर यू आई और फ्रंट एंड डेवलपमेंट एल डब्ल्यू सी इज द मोस्ट प्रिफर्ड वे एंड इन एल डब्ल्यू सी वी ओपन यूज बेस कॉम्पोनेंट्स फॉर जनरल रिक्वायरमेंट्स सो फॉर एवरी सेल्स फोर्स डेवलपर इट इज मस्ट टू नो दैट हाउ वी कैन मॉडिफाई सी एस एस और बेस कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड बिफोर मूविंग फर्दर First, let's open my developer org to show you what I'm talking about. It will help you to easily understand. All right. So here in my demo org, I already have created a LWC component, which contains few HTML elements or controls like text boxes, radio button group, and buttons. And how I created these buttons using out of box components. I mean, Salesforce provides many out of box components for basic requirements. like to create text box button radio button combo box cards layouts and many others and in those out of box components salesforce has already written required code for basic requirements so instead of writing everything from scratch in our custom component we can use out of box components which also provides many advantages like i didn't write any code to show this button's background color and also i didn't define any kind of custom css to show these controls like this because salesforce has already defined sldcs css classes under base components okay so now we have basic idea that what are base components and why we should use them and now let's say we are working on a client's application and where client don't want this kind of look and feel for these controls instead he wants like this like he wants buttons in the different color and also these radio buttons should horizontally align instead of vertical and we should see border radius with all the controls like with text boxes and buttons right and you know we are using base components here so now the question is how we can achieve this requirement or how we can modify design of base components in lwc so we can't directly modify css of base component from our custom components why because each and every component get rendered inside their own shadow dom on browser and if we talk about the behavior of shadow dom then shadow dom encapsulates component inside shadow boundary so that components work as a separate entity without getting impacted by parents or any other sibling components which means whatever events or css we define on parent or other components that will not make impact on our current component due to shadow boundary okay so this is the problem we have in lwc while working with base components because many times customers want application design as per their convenience or brand and as a lwc developer we should know very well how to customize design of base components so in case if you got any such kind of requirements then we can achieve them right and now let's discuss how we can cater this problem or what all ways we have to achieve this requirement so the very first approach we have using styling hooks so considering this css customization problem in last recent releases salesforce introduced this styling hooks concept which is based on a web standard that is css custom properties and custom properties are nothing but the css property value is specified at a place and can be reused throughout a dom so in other words it's kind of a variable that we can declare in css and assign particular value now to reuse that value we can refer that variable further for example let's say we want to use gray background color in multiple css classes then we need to hard code same color name at multiple places and now in future if you want to change this gray background color with red then we need to make changes at multiple places if we will go with this approach but if we have used custom properties like this so this is the example how we can create custom properties in css using double hyphen so here what we have done we have created a custom property with main bg color name and assigned gray value and now wherever we want to use this background color value then instead of hard coding gray color name we can use this property under var and now what this var will do first this will try to find property value in current element or in current component if it didn't find any value then it will go in the parent component and try to find value and if value is not available there also then it will go to the grandparent and same process it will follow till the dom root okay so now in case of base components 
Salesforce already using some custom properties and to see what all custom properties or hooks are available for a base component we can refer Salesforce documentation in lightning component library so here let's open lightning component library and for example here let's find for button here under documentation section if you will scroll a little bit down here you can see all the custom properties which are available for lightning button based component for different variants so now using these custom properties we can send css from base component as well for example let's say in your component you have used lightning base button and now you want to change background color of that base button then what you can do you can use this property and specify background color in your custom component so let me show you this thing in practical like how you can use these properties to customize base components and and let's try to mimic this requirement and for that let's open my vs code and create new component and now let's here use same html markup which we have in our demo so let me copy that from my notepad or in your case you can create it by yourself or i'll upload this code on github so you can take it from there also so here first we have lightning card with title is standard so let me change it to custom and then we have lightning layout and then have multiple layout items for first name last name radio button group and for buttons and now let's copy some javascript code as well for these options and value and now let's make some changes in meta config file and deploy this component to add on lightning home page deployment is done now let's add that component here so for that let's edit this page all right now we can see our new component here this looks similar to the first box but now here what we want to do here first we want to change buttons background color and here we are using natural and brand button variants so to change background color for these variants let's see custom properties here so for natural we will use this custom property and this is for brand and these custom properties follow the specific naming convention so if you want a detailed video on styling hooks or custom properties then do let me know in the comments and for now let's use this property to change brand button background color and to add our custom css in component first we need to add css file in component bundle so let's click on this plus icon and provide file name this should be similar to the component name with dot css extension and now here first we need to use selector in which we want to set the property value so in case if you want to apply css on whole component then we can use host as a selector like this and here we can provide our custom property value but in case if you don't want to apply changes on whole component let's say you have multiple buttons but you want to apply custom css on few of them then what you can do you can provide a custom css class for them for example let's say we have multiple cards here under this component and you want to apply changes on first one only like whatever buttons you have in this first card you want to apply custom css on them only then what you can do you can assign a custom class here like custom brand and use this class as a selector now here let's use that custom property and here instead of star let's use category that is color then property that is background and at last let's provide any value here you can assign any value here that you want okay so this is how we can change button background color which has brand as a variant and to change for natural variant we just need to change variant name here and change value 
okay and similarly if you want to change text color also then you can use custom property like this here text is the category and we have provided white as a value okay and now let's deploy these changes all right now we can see two boxes here and also you can see buttons background color has been changed for first box only but in second box we can still see same background color why because you know we have only specified custom properties value for this first box right so this is how using styling hooks we can modify design of base components but here we have limitation i mean we can change value of only few properties for which styling hooks are available but what will happen if you want to update a property for which styling hook is not available for example in our case let's say we want to add border radius or want to show these radio buttons horizontally then in these cases this first approach will not work because salesforce provided only few styling hooks which are important but for other requirements we need to follow different approach so now let's see our second approach that we can use here okay so second approach we have by adding dynamic css on elements so in this case what we can do we can query our root element in rendered callback lifecycle hook and append style node with required css so let me show you this thing in practical and create a dom element for the style using document dot create element and element name will be style and now let's add css into this style element so let's write style dot inner text and whatever css we want to add with elements that we can write here as a string for example let's say we want to add css for border radius for text boxes and buttons and only we want to add border radius in first box so let's write css like this so first we will use car selector that is custom brand and then we will use text box class that is slds input and similarly add selector for button as well so instead of this input let's use button and now whatever css we want to add on button or text boxes that we can write here like border radius and let's provide value 25 okay and now let's check selector for radio buttons to show them horizontally so here we can use this selector form element control and also use this lightning radio group else it will impact other controls as well and here let's use display flex property to show them horizontally and now let's dynamically add this style element into custom brand card and for that let's write this dot template dot query selector and let's provide selector as custom brand then append child and pass style as a child here okay so this is how we can create dynamic element in javascript file and whatever css we want to apply that we can add like this and finally we can add that element into dom okay now let's deploy these changes all right now we can see border radius with text boxes and buttons and also these radio buttons are coming horizontally which means our second approach works successfully so if you have a unique requirement where you want to customize base component but don't have available styling hooks then you can go with this approach but personally i doesn't recommend to use this approach because 
here first of all we are writing css in javascript file which is not a good practice and also it increased lines of code in our javascript file and other thing is we are adding this css under rendered callback and you know rendered callback can call multiple times it's depend on the elements how many elements we have in component so here additionally we need to write conditions to add it only once right so that's why generally i doesn't recommend to use this approach so now let's see our third approach which is using external css file so here what we can do we can create a separate css file and instead of writing css into javascript file we can write that into this css file and then we can upload that css file into salesforce org as a static resource and now finally we can call that css file in our component using load style method okay so let's see this thing in practical and here first let's create a css file and that you can create anywhere but for now let me create under this component itself and file name we can have anything okay so i have created this new css file now let's copy that css from javascript file and paste in our css file and let's comment out this code for now and as a next step let's upload this css file into static resources so let's open our org again and open setup then static resources and here let's click on new and provide any relevant name and here let's select file then click on save okay so this is how we can upload a static resource in salesforce and now let's open our vs code again and import the css file and to load this css under component we need to import load style method from platform resource loader module okay now here let's use connected callback lifecycle hook because it will call only once and load the css using load style method okay so we are done with our code and what we have done here first of all we have created a external css file and added all the required css then we have saved this file as a static resource and finally imported that static resource in component and load this style using load style method okay and now let's deploy this component all right still we can see same look and feel i mean we can see all the styles here which means our third approach is also working fine okay so whenever you have a requirement where you want to do lots of customization with base components then primarily you should look for the styling hooks if styling hooks are not available for that css then you can go with the second approach if you don't want to create external css file and store into static resources but if you have lots of styles to add then i think you should go with the third approach okay so that's it in this video where we have seen multiple ways to customize base components and if this video help you to learn something new then please like and subscribe my youtube channel thank you so much for watching i will see you next video